Hello everyone, this is Red Robot. Today, we're going to be talking about an often forgotten member of Soldier's Arsenal, the Mantreads. Only really seeing use within the Trollger loadout, the Mantreads boast some pretty interesting stats, as well as a gimmicky way to crush your enemies. But, do they make up for the downside of giving up your shotgun or gunboats? Let's find out. Starting with stats. The Mantreads grant a passive 75% reduction in push force taken from damage. You can think of this as a kind of quick fix uber light. You're not getting the full reduction of knockback. And unlike the quick fix, you're still vulnerable to stuns such as the Sandman and Air Blast. But this reduced push force can really make a huge difference. Secondly, the Mantreads deals 3 times falling damage to an enemy player that you can land on. Of course, Goomba Stomping is fun but it's a wildly inconsistent form of dealing damage. The problem with this mechanic is that crush damage requires you to gain some altitude. This will usually involve rocket jumping. Unless you're using the rocket jumper, or to a lesser extent, the liberty launcher, you're going to be dealing full rocket dump damage to yourself. This, plus putting yourself into close range with the enemy, makes this trait of the Mantreads an incredibly fun and challenging, but suicidal tactic. If you're really keen to take out an enemy player with no respect for your own life, the Market Gardener will often serve you more effectively. Alternatively, you could try one of my personal favourites, dropping yourself as a Cal Mangler bomb onto unsuspecting enemies using the Base Jumper. The other attribute of the Mantreads is much more practical. The knockback resistance prevents you from being juggled by stickies, grenades, sentries, bullets and rockets, as well as making you ignore air shots guaranteeing that your rocket jumps will be successful. Again though, the Mantreads don't boast any self damage resist, and this knockback resistance will only be useful if you take damage, meaning that this weapon almost needs medic support in order to be effective. Paired with the medigun specifically, the Mantreads can give soldier a pseudo quick fix uber charge combination. With all the damage resist of the uber charge and the push force reduction of the Mantreads, you can toast sentries with no effort. It's important to note that circle strafing and jumping around sentries is much more effective than ever, as it's more difficult for the sentry to lock onto you. This however is a double edged sword, because there are often situations in which riding a sentry's knockback out of its range can save your life. The Mantreads will often leave you stranded under full sentry fire, another one of the many reasons why a medic buddy is essential to be effective with these boots. When playing with the Mantreads, you'll often feel like your health vanishes for no reason. The amount of knockback you take is often a good indication of what's making you take damage, but the Mantreads tight grip on the ground allows you to soldier through the pain. They're a great weapon for escaping situations, in choke points or indoors, where explosive damage would usually juggle you to death. They're also really good paired up with the trusty melee weapon. The immunity to knockback is great when it comes to closing the distance, which is why it's paired with the Market Gardener so frequently. One huge problem I found with the Mantreads was running out of rockets in my clip. I may have accentuated this problem by abusing the black box, but even if you are just using stock, the fact that you never have to slow down or retreat to avoid splash damage with these boots means that you'll often be out of reloaded rockets to deal with enemies. This is made even worse by the absence of a shotgun. It's important to remember to take breaks in your pushes and reload, because even though the Mantreads are tough enough to push on through, being surrounded by enemies, even with overheal, is a bad situation to be in for a soldier on low ammo. All up, the Mantreads fill an interesting niche for a pocketed soldier who just wants to walk forward and decimate his enemies. Stickies, pipes, rockets, the odd force of nature pose no threat to your movement, so you can keep advancing and stealing ground from the opposition. As useful as the knockback reduction is, it just isn't impactful enough to make up for the enormous health savings and mobility of weapons like the gunboats, and the reliability and sustained combat potential of the shotgun, or even the utility of the banners. I feel like a really appropriate buff would be in the same vein as the bootlegger or Alibaba's wee booties for Demo Man. A small passive speed boost buff would make this weapon a whole lot of fun to use, and might even push it over the edge into being competitive with the other soldier secondaries. Plus, it has the potential to shake things up by doing crazy things like making soldiers even faster on rollout and allowing you to escape situations that you could have never gotten out of before. But the high cost of losing your regular secondary would prevent it from being too overpowered. Plus, it would only make sense that the thick, heavy boots 
would make you run faster in the TF2 universe, right? And that's all I've got for you right now. While the Mantreads do have their niche when it comes to ignoring knockback and the rare but spectacular Goomba Stop style kill, in my opinion, they still need a little patching up in order for them to really shine. Well, that's all I've got for you right now, and I'll see you guys next time.